Ooh! We have an intellectual powerhouse that would like to check my credentials. <laughs> uh, Seattle suburban dad would like to know, So what do you do for a living? Are you a scientist? A doctor? A nurse? <laughs> uh, well, I do have some medical training and, you know, thank you for asking. You know, like it's... It's so nice when a stranger takes an interest in your life, right? Why must people do that? <sighs> I'm kidding. I suspect that that is probably your limp dick attempt at some sort of weirdly worded insult, and probably your attempt to delegitimize anything I've said so far with some sort of intellectual elitism that you're not a part of yet feel somehow entitled to speak on behalf of. <laughs> Fuck, you are... I, I don't think this is the first time that you've heard this, but you're special. Uh, I mean, put plainly, dude, you don't have to be any of those things in order to interpret data. You don't have to go to medical school in order to understand medical terminology. Education is not intelligence. <laughs> it's very easy to fall into that misconception, but it's not true. Just because someone did not devote the years of their life to being trained in that particular discipline, it doesn't mean that they were intellectually incapable of doing so. Right? Just because I'm not a doctor or some sort of specialized scientist in the field of viruses and other nasty things that kill people, that doesn't mean that I'm uh, automatically a shithead. Uh, your question, though, suggests that you might be. <laughs> <laughs>